Hey everyone and welcome to Antarctica. Antarctica being the name of the level and the name of the section. Not that, not that anyone other than me is sad enough to care about that. And it's been a surprisingly long time since um, uploading the last video. The last video being City, the final level in the London section. I say a long time, it's only been about a week or so, which isn't a long time by any means, but for my, but for me, it's quite a long time, because normally I, I say I, I probably do uploads about every two or three days, so um, for me it's quite a long time, and it occurred to me that it would probably be a good idea for me to get out my capturing software and um, uh, record uh, Antarctica so that I can upload it. Uh, as opposed to going too long without an upload. So I'm coming here for some random items, this is not a secret. And from here I'll get onto the ship and I can then uh, get one of the secrets and also um, get the lifeboat and then I can proceed further from there. And unfortunately for me, this level is quite a bit um, harder than it needs to be. Because there is a swim bug at the um, end of the level, which pretty much enables you to complete the level without the lifeboat. You, all you have to do is just swim in the direction of of the end of the level, do a swim bug, and it well, just pretty much straight takes you straight to the end of the level. Unfortunately, I can't seem to pull the glitch off the swim bug. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to pull it off. I don't know if I'm just not doing it correctly. That's probably the way of things. So I've got to do the level the hard way, which means uh, going through lots of gunmen and dogs, uh, which is quite a frustrating experience. It costs you a lot of health. But if I can't pull the glitch off, then I've got to do things the hard way, unfortunately. Now just ahead of us, a gunman will be triggered. It is actually possible to avoid triggering him, if I can do this jump right. Yeah, it sounds like I got it right. Yeah. But another gunman has been spawned, but it doesn't really matter. There are gunmen down here as well, so it's not all plain sailing. Okay, so this takes us out to here. And I'm going to go down here for a secret, and then I'm going to get the lifeboat. Normally, to get the lifeboat, you would have to push a button that releases it. And to get to the button, you have to go through more gunmen, which means getting shot even more and losing more health. But fortunately, there is a little trick where you don't have to do that. And you can get onto the lifeboat pretty much straight from here, and that's what I'm going to be doing. And that's where I'm heading right now. All you have to do is jump forward, hold action, and boom. You go down, you take the lifeboat with you, and it just saves you a bit of trouble.
And having the lifeboat on you makes this secret here a bit easier. You don't need the lifeboat in order to get this secret, but it's easier because you just position yourself, jump off, and up you get. Doing it without the lifeboat is just a little bit trickier. So, um, that's why I personally prefer to do it with the lifeboat. And you have to make a very well timed jump here. And seeing as I've got such a high number of safe game crystals, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to save here, just to be safe. Well, unnecessary, I made it up, but I, uh, I'm not bothered. I've got more safe game crystals than I need, so from my perspective, it was saving was the right thing to do. The only other secret is the hut secret, where there's that key underwater. You. I'm just gonna get another flare. You pick up the hut key that's underwater, and then you can get into the hut and that, and then help yourself to the third and final secret. I need to. I, I need to refill the um, the uh, cold meter thing. So my house about to go down. Great thing about having such a high number of save game crystals is you can afford to make these sort of mistakes because you can afford to save and saving is the solution now just so that I've got all three secrets over and out of the way I'm actually going to go and get the key now well, I would if Lara can jump off. I'm pressing, I'm pressing to get off. Okay, I'm pressing to get off and she's not getting off. Okay, now she is. I know uh, you can get the lifeboat inside of here and it would make sense to get the lifeboat inside of here and then get this key because that way the distance between you and the lifeboat is not as far and so uh, getting the key would require you to save less, use less save game crystals but I've got such a high number of save game crystals it really doesn't matter and I just want to get all three secrets out of the way and then focus on progress. Oh, 
There happens to be a uh, dog in here as well, which is kind of annoying. Hoping I can make him run off by shooting him. Okay, secret's been chimed. And that should be all three secrets. Okay, all I need to do now is what's mandatory for completing the level. Another bright side about getting the lifeboat the way I did is that uh, doing it the proper way also causes a gunman to spawn here. Uh, but by getting the lifeboat how I did, it prevents the release of the gunman and just makes this area that little bit easier. And I, I, I need to be very quick and um, very efficient and very careful with the upcoming bits because here onwards is where this level can be really mean with the gunmen and the dogs and the bits that can really cost you health. So I think I should save here. Okay, well, so far this has gone quite smoothly. Okay, so far this has gone quite smoothly. And with these switches here, I think it's the second and fourth that I need to pull. And this is. Um, one level in Tomb Raider 3 that I could not complete on my own, and the reason being, I didn't know what to do with this bit. I know there is part of the level where it does it where it's shown on a wall telling you what to do, but I never noticed that, and with this bit, I just did not know what to do. And so this is one level in Tomb Raider 3 that I could not complete on my own. The only other one is Lost City of Tinnus. With this one I needed a walk through. Lost City of Tinnus, I need help from my sister. And it was the bit with the five switches that I couldn't do um, with Lost City of Tinnus. Well, please pray for me as I do this bit. This is the hardest bit of this level. It's not a patch on Tomb Raider 2 or Last Revelation when it comes to difficulty for pacifist runs, but this is the hardest bit in this level and it really does cost you health. switch because they're just knocking me all over the place. And I can't even get into the switch properly myself. No 
Okay. But there's also getting back. Don't worry about the gun man, he's not a threat, I need the dog sound. I know I know I'm being a bit excessive with the small health packs, but with these dogs your health can literally just collapse. So I can't really wait until it's sensible to use a large health pack because I could be killed before then. This is a good idea. Fuck her off. Don't do that. Don't try and. You're an idiot. Uh, says me, he's just run straight into a wall. And into a wall again. Fortunately the dogs can't come here, the gunmen can still shoot at you, and you want to be careful of the traps, because they'll kill you. position where I can complete this level because I've got the gate control key, the crowbar, so now I can complete this level. All I have to do is get back and that is easier said than done given the number of enemies that I've got on me. Things easier. Okay. I want the dogs to not run that way. And they've just frozen on the spot, it seems. Well, I'm being shot at, so I've got to move now. And I get myself killed. That's what I mean about your health can just collapse. I mean, I, I, I did try and go into the infantry there, but before I'd even pressed the button, I'd already been killed. Okay, I've got, um, I'll settle with that. This level was never going to be easy, it was never going to be pleasant. And as long as I get this level out of the way in a position of being able to see the level through, I mean, 
see the rest of the game through, then that's a result in my eyes. Shouldn't that be a gunman? Uh, shouldn't a gunman have spawned? Oh, okay, yeah, he has spawned. <laughs> Normally he runs after you when he spawns. So when he wasn't running after me, I was a bit confused there. The swim bug I was telling you about, it's literally just before this bit. So if I was able to have pulled it off, then I could have just come straight here, but I can't seem to pull it off, so yeah, I had to do things this way. So level done, just under 20 minutes, 3 out of 3 secrets, 0 kills, 5.5 health packs. That was always going to happen, to be honest. <laughs> it could have been better, but it could have been worse. I'm in a strong position to complete this challenge. I honestly can't see my health packs getting close to running out. So I've just got to put this aside, consider myself lucky to have this level out of the way, and um, focus on RX Tech Mines. So thank you everyone for watching, and hope you enjoyed.